feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another rep. Recording. What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Fact the Madness. My name is Craig. I had the unfortunate, if you will, circumstance of passing through what turns out to be a tragedy. I was going to go live there, but while I was doing it, I realized probably that the quality of images that I would capture was not going to be good. Um, at least that's been my my uh, experience so far. And, you know, I'm just now getting to the point where I'm, I'm going to figure out what my, my capabilities are. So, and then as I was thinking about it, as I captured the images that occurred, and there was an interesting thing that, that happened, and that's why the title reads is what it is. I promise it's not clickbait. But it dawned on me also that it's possible that the family members may not be notified. So I am holding off on releasing this until I can be certain that there's been at least enough time for, you know, the family members to be notified. And I don't have to feel bad for having been the person who for some reason captured, you know, a, a tragic situation and therefore um, some family member was able to witness, you know, witness something that I didn't otherwise want them to see. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to play the footage that I have. Uh, and, um, you know, for whatever it's worth, there are some things that are relevant to me that, that with regards to First Amendment, uh, not auditing, but First Amendment rights, uh, p recording in public, filming in public, those kind of things. So um, without further ado, here is the video. Okay. <laughs> you know how to get a beef barbecue, right? Not from that way, yeah. but I figured I'd Are you telling her how to get through to that yeah. way? Yeah, I got to get, I, I got a appointment. I'm going towards where the uh, hospital. No, I'm going to, well, kind of where the hospital is, but I'm going to donate plasma. Oh, yeah. That, but I've never gone, I've never gone from Pine Top to that way. I mean, you can follow me. What, what, what has happened? What happened over there? That, that on um, house four on fire and and a uh, and a and a uh, old man and a uh, and a uh, uh, old man and an old lady died in it. Oh wow! In in the house that's that that yeah. where they are. Oh, I see. Old man and an old lady died. In so the house caught on fire. I see. How long has it been that uh, it was it was going? Probably like I mean, um, I just pulled up, but that's the lady in the courtroom. Oh, I see. A what? Husband. husband and wife in the in the house. Wow. Sam, I'm a journalist, so like I'm an independent journalist, so 
I see that they're here too. So. Wow. Wow. Sounds like husband and wife. The house burned down. I don't know if you can see. I saw, I can still see lights in there, so it appears that the house just through there is where it was. So apparently there was a fire, elderly couple, and uh, pairs they did not make it. See that the news is here, Channel 12, Fox, East Carolina. I don't really watch local news. I think, oops, I think there's also, there's also WITN. Hmm. WITN is also here. So it looks like they're taking the tape now. Can't tell if they're taking the tape now. Looks like they might be. So, where I can tell that the tape is now. So when I, when I came through, they had the road kind of blocked off, and there was every, they were turning everybody around. So like they're bringing the news through, they're waving the news through. Huh, interesting. Now I'm not saying that I would do this or not, but there's clearly a reason why they're letting the news people go through. I don't know if they would let me walk over there. They would let me walk over there. But they're allowing the news people... They're allowing the news people to go through. He's letting you through, I think. She was trying to get my... I don't know why she was trying to get my attention, but... Um, and now yeah. they're letting traffic go through. There's a sheriff. The sheriff is leaving. But now everybody is going. I stopped. I stopped to be able to check out what's going on. And now the news is there. So interesting enough that they are. But they allow I mean people now the traffic is going through so you see that the traffic is going through on this road and they've allowed the 
volumes to go there and probably take a look at what's going on. Now, I'm just going to kind of show where the road is. The road is here, and it goes down to this area down here, which is now open. And apparently, he looks like a, some type of an officer, a paramedic. But they they allowed they allowed the uh, news to go there, probably do some filming. Oh, and now they're setting up. So I wonder if my uncle's calling. So I think I'm going to see if there is a, if that's private property, see if I can go there. So. All right. So, so as I said, um, I happen to be traveling. I go to travel to Greenville, North Carolina, which is where this was. And I donate plasma twice a week um, on Wednesday and Friday. I'm actually going to think about changing that that because, uh, and uh, on the other side is, is that on the days that I go, I generally go and eat something after I donate plasma. Typically, I will either eat KFC. I get a bucket of nine pieces for like fourteen dollars. None of these people are are um, are sponsors. I will go to Pizza Hut, and I'll get a usually a Supreme, Super Supreme, large, extra sauce. Occasionally, I might fill a little frog, and I get uh, double sausage, pineapple, and extra sauce. Um, it's usually around $16. Uh, occasionally, I'll go to Jimmy John's. Now, I love Jimmy John's uh, subs. And, and the reason why I go to Jersey Mike's, which is my other alternative, is because Jersey Mike's seems like I accumulate points faster uh, than I do at Jimmy John's, and I can get a free sub. It's a giant size sub. It's pretty big. I think it's like 18 inches long. It's pretty pretty big. That's what she said. And um, and I'll I'll get that sandwich. So, but I found out that on Tuesdays they give double points. So, not <laughs> kind of like. Uh, planning things around something that you should or should not be doing, but you look forward to that kind of thing. Well, I, 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 I do need to lose a little weight, admittedly. Uh, and it's coming around this, this area, but instead of going to get uh, terrible foods, I'm, I'm trying to make it so that I get something reasonably healthy and kind of like Jared did, you know, it could be a Subway sandwich, but I like Jersey Mike's. So I go to Jersey Mike's. I get a number eight giant size on wheat. I do extra mayonnaise on both sides, Mike's way with um, banana peppers. So that's what I do. So back to all of this. So I noticed then that that they allowed the news to go in this year. There was a young lady in the black uh, kind of uh, SUV that was trying to get my attention. I kind of have to be more cognizant of the fact that people sometimes want to talk to you when you're filming. Sometimes they don't. Uh, you treat them, you know, differently depending on, on, on the set of circumstances. But I decide I'm going to try to go to the same area that those that the news people are. You could see in the background that she was that she was um, setting up her camera, uh, and then, and I said um, I want to go see if it's private property. Obviously, I wanted to see if, if it was public property where they were, so that I would be, also be able to go and and uh, film or video video record so i pause i get into my car i go basically to the same area where they are there was like maybe seven cars there and there was not enough space for me to get there or to park there so and i asked the young lady that happened that was setting up her um camera i asked if she was staying there she said she had to wait for her reporter i said okay fine so then i went down further down the road to the right as we as we're looking at the screen and I couldn't really find a good turnoff place. I flipped around and there was a, an abandoned church. I say abandoned, it's empty. In fact, it had a little sign on it that was asking if this, uh, if this was for sale and to contact such and such a number. So 
if you know this address or you know this area and you know that uh, they're looking for or who knows the owner of that church, there's somebody who may want to buy it. And there is a note on the door. So. So I park my car there. I walk back up to the area where they where they were. And that's where this um, the next portion of video. That's where we are. We're going to go on this side of the road. And I, I did look both ways. <laughs> now, honestly, I'm only going to get to... Uh, they said it happened around 5.30 this morning, the fire. But I can smell. I can smell smoke and fire. Something has burned in the air. Yeah, you definitely can smell and it. I can see where the tape is. I saw them filming. So I'm going to do the same thing. They are let traffic through. Interestingly enough, though, they said that they're waiting for the reporter. Wow. Well, that house is definitely burned. can see all of the damage that was done and um, fine how are you I'm doing good I mean <laughs> I was just passing through and I noticed that somebody was going there I was interested in the story, probably like you are. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, absolutely. What am I? Okay. So, that young lady is, uh, she said she's W I T N. Sad though. It certainly is sad. It's very interesting that so in real time while I was taking those images and then panning like I was, and I'm watching it, around the same exact moment I thought of how sad it was that this is occurring. I I, I mean my thoughts were uh, I was at, in the same spot, literally. I was thinking the same exact thing, and then right then I just went, hmm, because you know, you're you're brought to to know how fragile life is and how fleeting it is, and that in any moment, um, you know, life may not be. And my mother always taught us growing up that tomorrow is not promised to you. And uh, this is another example. If there's any silver lining in, in this whole entire situation, and I've been more than one person said this today as I described it was that uh, it was an elderly couple and they were together. So, I mean, you know, if there's any silver lining, that would be what it, that would be it. Are you all, are, are you, is your offices like located, uh, there's like a, um, like a thrift store on the same street. Uh, yes, sir. Is that where you are? So I've been, I've been, so I 
I have a YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, I I uh, I started doing like cop watching those kind of things, and um, so I did see this, and I was like, what interested me is that everybody was stopped, and then they saw you all, and they let you through. I don't know how when it happened. How long has it been that it, that the uh, incident occurred? Uh, since five thirty this morning. Oh wow! And they, and they had the road uh, closed that whole time. Yes. Oh wow! It was, it was a fatal fire. Oh um, wow, that's people, sad. Yeah, two people did die, but that's why it was blocked off. And sure. We, I was able to come down here to get video before, but um, it just reopened. Wow. Okay. Like Interesting. Well, that's sad. <laughs> no, for sure. But I can't. I, the reason why I asked that question was because. Uh, I've been thinking about stopping by that place because like, for example, I'm not from uh, North Carolina okay. and I know that the laws of getting body worn camera footage is, are different than some states. And I was wondering if maybe you all had some insight on how you go about doing that. But yeah. I mean, if after we talk, if you yeah. give me a card, then I'll get in contact with you. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. No problem. Okay. She said she had a deadline and you're going to see here, but I, I put my phone on that uh, vehicle that was right off uh, to the left, which was the Fox uh, van. And I thought it was still recording, but apparently it wasn't. So it's going to end very shortly. But uh, but I did reach out to her and she's probably going to, uh, to reach out back out to me. But uh, again, I don't know if I should have my camera facing the camera, but. Uh, do you mind putting it down? Yeah. Um, so I'm not even sure what time this would air, but for the sake of allowing the families to be able to be notified and all those things, I'm going to I'm going to wait a reasonable amount of time that that should occur. Maybe I'll see if I can find out if uh, Miss Morgan's uh, piece airs this and if it's on the news, uh, and then I can go ahead and release this. So. We've learned the identities of the couple killed in a house fire this morning in Pitt County. The victims of the fatal fire have been identified as George Johnson III and Cheryl Johnson. The 69-year-old man and 70-year-old woman both died of smoke inhalation, according to authorities. Multiple agencies responded to the fire at 3536 NC43 North. Multiple agencies are investigating the fire, but so far no cause has been released. Craig Woodall, who passed by the scene as crews worked, says it's circumstances like these that put everything into perspective. Sad uh, set of circumstances, uh, specifically that they're elderly, I, I think I understand. Um, I, you know, I have parents who are around the age where you have to think about those kind of things. So it's definitely sad and something that uh, we all, you know, it hits you right in, in the face right when you see and hear it. That's Those are the reasons why I kind of reserved not doing not going live or even watching this live with you i have some other things that i want to talk to you about but i thought this was newsworthy if it was newsworthy enough for them then why wouldn't it be for me she asked me a couple questions about you know safety and those kind of things and best i could you know obviously you want to be safe my wife for example in in the studio that i am recording this in currently she's always talking about uh, turning things off and sometimes it's a little hard to get in here without the lighting and so i'll leave things on but, you know, we would hate to lose our lives because of uh, the wiring not being correctly, you know, connected uh, and create a fire, those kind of things. So uh, this is a stark reminder that uh, you do need to have fire safety in mind. And I hope that you all do the same. So um, whether you be on the right side or the left side, as far as I'm concerned, all I ask is that you meet me somewhere in the middle. And that is a fact. My name is Craig. I am Fact the Madness. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts 
about our channel. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement. The top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose your gift. Oh.